and welcome to the channel. I'm Volcano AC and today I bring you the Waves SSL E-Series Channel Strip Plugin Replacement and for that I'm bringing you the equivalent plugin but from SSL themselves. I should note that the version of the SSL plugin that I have is edition number one version six and as of the recording of this video they already have the edition number two of that same plugin. However, that version number two is gonna cost me about $330, so I think for now I'm gonna stick to edition number one. As of the recording of this video, Waves has finally brought back the perpetual license option and we can find plugins for $29.99. I believe that the Waves SSL E channel strip plugin that I purchased long time ago was around this price. In addition, I should mention that the SSL equivalent of this plugin, I purchased it for about $49 on a tremendous sale that happened a while ago around the holidays. Actually, not only I was able to purchase this edition number one of this channel strip from SSL, but also it came bundled with the G-Boss compressor a deal that was really worth it. Now, we don't know for how long Waves will keep offering the perpetual license option and we need to be prepared in case in a year or two they decide again to go back to subscription model only. Therefore, let's go now to Studio One though and look for the Waves plugin replacement. Let's go. All right, so we're here in Studio One and I want to show you what I got going on. First, I'm going to be uh, showing you the channel strip on a very simple electric guitar that I recorded just for this video. Very straightforward. So as you can see, I already replaced uh, the GTR plugin from Waves and I have Amplitube over here. So I basically just uh, copy the track complete from one uh, track to the other. And in one, uh, I'm gonna have, so in the blue one, I'm gonna have the um, channel strip from Waves that you can see over here. This is the E channel, like I mentioned, the number one. And you will see that the filters are off. I just tried to find one that uh, sounds okay with what I recorded pretty quickly. Uh, in terms of a preset, so I grab one of the CLA ones and the amp number one is the one that I really like the most and usually what I do after finding uh, the preset I like, I start tweaking uh, just to find kind of like the perfect spot but so that you can repeat this in your own DAW with the same plugin, I'll leave it there at this preset and that's then the track in blue and then the track in red over here is going to have our replacement plugin and that will be then our SSL from SSL and as you can see I tried best I could to match it's not a hundred percent exact uh, because that will be actually very time consuming and it is just to show you how in terms of sound they sound about the same actually even before we start i can tell you that the original ssl plugin uh, to my ear sounds a bit better than the waves but i still want to show you how you can replace it pretty easily so once we have the um, preset that we really liked then you can see here the filters are turned off so i have also turned off the low pass and high pass filters over here and then you can see that I try to match the different frequencies um, for example we have the frequency here of about five and then here also about five kilohertz and then here we have a gain of about six and then here also about six dB and so on I did the same for the different frequencies the green the blue the black so here are the green the blue the black you can check it out you can pause this video and put in the comments <laughs> how far off I was that's fine with me and then the dynamics over here um, I have the dynamics also um, 
turn on as you can see and I also try to match the knobs for that same for the compressor and you can see the compressor uh, parameters over here and over here and the same thing here for the expander on one side the knobs are different one from the other in the range I had to adjust a bit different because they react a bit different one plug to the other so um, that was something I had to adjust but anyways uh, now that you can see what I did let me move this out of the way so that I will start with the waves plugin and I have the loop over here hopefully that doesn't make it too crazy that it goes on and on but I just want you to listen uh, the difference between the blue track which is the original waves versus the red track which is actually the SSL plugin from the SSL company so I will say at this point let's get started and let's go All right, what do you think? I feel that it really sounds extremely similar and we can spend hours here tweaking these uh, uh, different plugins to try to make it as different as we can or as similar, but basically I just proved the point that with this plugin original from SSL, really, I'm not gonna need the Waves SSL eChannel strip plugin. All right, so I don't want to make this video too long. The other video I did last week, it was almost 20 minutes just trying to show you three plugins. And that's why I decided to show you just one plugin in this video. But basically, um, I would like now to move on and show you a set of uh, strings, basically, um, which I directed to a uh, bus, so I put them all together into one bus and I loaded the Waves plugin and the SSL plugin channel strip and I'm gonna open the bus right now and show you how it sounds. So here we have the, the bus number one for these three uh, string instruments. So the first one is a ukulele, then I have electric guitar number one and electric guitar number two. I'll put them all together. I will also make the loop so that it goes through those over there. I'll keep muted my electric guitar with the distortion. And then in this one, I'll be going uh, back and forth between one and the other. So what I did in this one is I found one um, of the settings that I like the most, which is the hedges string group. And then I actually try to match it similarly as I did before. Um, so in this one, it's gonna be a little bit harder to show you just because I have to flip back and forth. Like I cannot put it next to each other unless I will do this double, but it's something I really don't wanna do right now. So uh, just check out the settings and feel free to pause it and put in the comments below. Um, what did I miss? Uh, for example, you can see just very briefly that uh, we have the low pass filter off, but 
uh, we have this one on and similar here low pass filter off and i tried to put it at the same rate as the other and the same thing i did for all the other knobs so without further ado let's get started with this bus number one with three different strings let's go Remember that when I press this little button over here and you can see kind of orangey, that means I'm bypassing. Even though it's on over here, I'm bypassing the plugin. So just so for you to know. Alright, and with this video I was able to demonstrate how the channel strip original from SSL is capable to very easily replace the Waves plugin SSL E channel strip. Now let's go back to our final comments. Alright, let me know in the comments below if you agree with me that the SSL E channel strip plugin is actually better or at least equal than the Waves SSL E channel strip. If you have another brand of E series channel strip that you would like to share with the community, please write it in the comments below. All right, if you like this video, don't forget to smash the like button. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for stopping by and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.